Hey everyone, I'm Andy and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. And today on the channel, we're gonna be making a Trader Vic classic, the Fog Cutter. However, we're gonna be making it without gin. <gasps> I know, blasphemy, but stay tuned because I promise it's gonna be well worth it. Anyway, let's shake it up. So the Fog Cutter is a traditional Trader Vic's Tiki cocktail from the 1940s. The original recipe called for light rum, brandy, gin, now my recipe is slightly different, so make sure to stay tuned so you can see how we're gonna drop the gin, but not lose that floral note. Now the name Fog Cutter has a couple different rumors as to how it actually came about. To be honest, I probably just think that Trader Vic thought it was a nice name, so he called it that. But I'd love to hear what you think is the real story behind the Fog Cutter name. So comment down below, tell me, where you think the name originally came from. One of the rumors is that it came from the fact that this drink was kind of light, so it helped kind of cut through the fog of a hangover. Another story is that because it was created in San Francisco, that it helped cut through the fog that the Bay experiences every single morning. Either way, again, I think he just called it that because he thought it was a cool name, but I'd love to hear what you have to say about it, so make sure you drop those comments below. Anyway, let's take a look at what we're gonna need to make this cocktail. First, we're gonna need light rum. Brandy, Orgia, Orange Juice, and Lemon Juice. The light rum that I'm using is a hibiscus infused Plantation 3 star. The brandy is Pierre Ferrand's 1840 Cognac. The Orgia is homemade and the orange juice and the lemon juice are fresh squeezed. And there you have it, my ingredients for the fog cutter. Now, if you notice, we're shy some gin. Now, gin's gonna add a botanical note to this cocktail, which is great. However, I don't always have gin on hand. Sometimes I don't even stock it in my own bar. So I thought to myself, well, how can I supplement that kind of botanical note that you get from gin without having gin? Well, in Minoas Tiki, there is a recipe for hibiscus infused light rum. And I always have light rum on hand. Now the original recipe does call for Don Q, but I usually stock Plantation 3 Star because I like the flavor profile better. And I thought, let's use that. So all I did was take a liter of the Plantation 3 Star and steep about half a cup of hibiscus tea in it for about 20 to 30 minutes. I strained out the tea, added a few drops of orange blossom water and bing, bang, boom, it was ready to go. By the way, do you have like, is hibiscus tea a normal thing people have? I didn't actually have it. I actually bought it for another recipe from Minimalist Tiki uh, that I then just had extra, so it worked out perfectly. But it's not something I normally stock. And actually, if you wanna buy the same bulk that I did, so that you always have it on hand, it lasts a long time. I'll drop an affiliate link in the comments below so you can pick up your own. But I'm just curious, like, do normal people have hibiscus tea in their cupboards? Cause like, I didn't and I do drink tea, just wasn't one of the ones I had. So I'd love to hear in the comments below, do you keep hibiscus tea in your pantry? Yes or no? Drop it below. Anyway, let's build this cocktail because I've been talking way too long and I need a drink. First, we're gonna start with two ounces of lemon juice. ounce of orange juice. Half an ounce of our orgia. is thick and it splashed up at me. An ounce of our cognac. <laughs> and two ounces of our hibiscus infused light rum. Now I'm gonna give you a fair warning. This stuff can stain, so Wearing a white shirt probably was not a good idea, but we're already in it. And I've been recording this for probably 10 minutes now, so 
it's gonna happen. But uh, don't be like me and don't wear white. As always, we're just gonna add ice to our shaker. Give it a nice little whack and whip shake for about five to eight seconds. Traditional fog cutter was served in a specific like fog cutter tiki mug, which I don't have. So we're just gonna use a Collins glass. And the first thing you're gonna notice about this, and which actually one of the reasons why I use glassware and not tiki mugs on this channel, is the color of this cocktail. That hibiscus infused light rum adds such a beautiful red touch. Perfect. For a garnish, we're gonna go traditional Trader Vic with a mint sprig. Give it a nice little whack. Drop it right in there. And because it's got orange juice in it, we're also gonna use an orange wheel. We'll grab our straw and give it a sip. So this cocktail is light. It is herbal, it is floral, it is just a touch of orange. And I know this sounds weird, but bear with me. It's almost like I can taste the red in this. It tastes like, almost like grenadine. Like grenadine is like red, right? And it reminds me of that kind of taste, but not sickeningly sweet. I feel like I'm just babbling right now, but it's just how it tastes to me, I guess. Anyway, yeah. So I actually always have hibiscus infused light rum and I actually need to make some more on hand because it goes so well in a lot of cocktails. Typically I find that light rum is just added to a cocktail to lengthen out the, the rum and the alcohol in it without adding a lot of flavor. One of the reasons why I carry Plantation 3 Star and why I stock it because it adds flavor unlike something like a Don Q or a Bacardi. But anyway, that's it for the channel today. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm gonna enjoy this cocktail later so one of us at least wins. Uh, anyway, please make sure to like and subscribe. Click that little notification bell so you know when I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Easy Tiki Drinks. Now that I got all that out of the way, I really hope you go and enjoy the rest of your week or weekend, depending upon when you're watching this. And uh, as always, take it easy.